Yes, we've got a brand new sound pack here in GarageBand iOS and there's not an 808 in sight in this video. I'm going to break it down and let you know everything we got in this new pack. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today. Yes, brand new sound pack day. If you want to grab this one, all you need to do is go to the sound library here in GarageBand iOS or in Logic Pro on your iPad. Tap on this one, Corey Wong, and hit the get button to download. We're going to dive in and let you know everything we got in this new pack. What we have here is the Corey Wong Producer Pack. Now, Apple have been doing this lately with these great GarageBand and Logic Pro packs that are put together by some really cool producers, and this one's no exception. Over 400 Apple Loops, three drum kits, and a live Loops grid. Let's dive in, show you how to get it, and then how to use it. As mentioned here in GarageBand, you go to the sound library here, tap on that one. At the very top in the center is our latest pack, the Corey Wong Producer Pack. Tap on that one, hit the Get button, it'll download and you'll be ready to roll. If you're using Logic Pro on your iPad, you just need to go to the bottom left here, tap on the sound library button and jump into your sound library here. Once again, you'll be able to tap on the Corey Wong pack and hit the get button. Yes, you do have to download it separately on GarageBand and Logic Pro. To use the 400 Apple Loops, we just need to scroll across to our audio recorder and tap on that one. This is just going to open up a blank project. We then need to tap here in the top right corner, tap on Apple Loops, and we can dive in here. If we tap the filter by button, we can filter here by a specific sound pack if we tap on that one. So let's find this sound pack. There it is, Corey Wong. We're going to tick on just that one, tap back here to the filter by, go back to our Apple Loops, and bingo, we have all of these. And as you probably saw from the intro there, we're talking guitars here. Yes, finally, we have some funk. We have some guitars. We have some really cool sort of singer, songwriter, funky, groovy, poppy kind of sounds. So there's plenty of stuff in here to explore. Let's take a look at some of them. Like most of our sound packs, they're kind of separated out into different little sections here. So we've got the Bounty Hunter. We've got the Cruising Attitude. We've got the Disco Dreams. Let's start with this one. We've got bass, guitar, cowbell, drums, piano. We've got a whole bunch of cool stuff here. There's even some horns in most of these packs as well. So they're going to help you create some pretty cool sounds here in GarageBand. To preview any of these sounds, we simply tap on the preview button. And again to stop. To bring a sound into our project, just tap it, drag it, and drop it on a blank track. To add more Apple Loops, just tap on the Apple Loops button. We've already got everything ready to go here. Everything needs more cowbell. Let's grab our cowbell and throw that on a separate track. And let's finish this out with a little bit of guitar. We'll go back to Apple Loops and uh, let's come in here to the chorus bubble guitar. What does this sound like? Very funky. Let's tap it, drag it, drop it, and we're good to go. What does this all sound like together? Let's hit play. Can I just say how cool it is to have some real samples in here, some guitars, some horns, some bass. I'm pretty excited. This pack also includes three new drum kits. To use these, there's a few ways you can go about it. First of all, you can go over here to your drums and then tap on more sounds here. Tap on recently downloaded and then we can find the Corey Wong pack. We got three here. We got Corey's Rose, Corey's Lindrum and Corey's Foley. These all sound interesting. We got an acoustic kit, an electronic kit and a percussion kit. Let's start with the acoustic kit. And here we are. We can play any of these sounds in by just tapping on each of the spots here. Very cool. If you want to play it in, we just hit record and we can start playing. Let's take a look at the other kits here. We'll go back into more sounds. We're here in the Corey Wong kit. Let's now look at the electronic, the Lin drum sound. Now these I'm assuming are gonna be a bit more of a drum machine kind of vibe. Very cool sounds in there indeed. And to take a look at our third kit, let's dive in here to the beat sequencer because we can use this as a way to add drums as well. All we need to do is tap in the bottom left here. Once again, go to recently downloaded, go to the Corey Wong pack and uh, let's go to Corey's Foley and tap on this one. That sounds really cool. Let's hit the record button and record in some of this sound. And 
of course, the beauty of the beat sequencer is we can change up all of these different sounds, move things around and create unique sounds, or even just hit the little dice button here and create a, a very random rhythm. I think we've already built ourselves quite a cool groove. And don't forget, you can mix and match with your Apple Loop, so you can go and find something else from a different one. What about these uh, headwind bridge horns? They might work in this one. Tap it, drag it. Let's bring this into the middle of our project and see if this transition's cool with these horns. How good is that? Kind of sounds like a 1980s cop show to me. Very cool stuff. Last but not least, one of the coolest ways to create a really easy song here in GarageBand is to use live loops. And we've got a new live loops grid to use this. Instead of being in the tracks view here, we tap on live loops. And if we scroll on across, we should be able to find this new grid. And here it is on the second to last page. If like me, you've downloaded all of these, the big Corey Wong logo there. And what this will do is load up a grid of a whole bunch of really cool loops and samples. What we can do here in live loops is play an entire column by tapping down here. Or we can pick and choose different samples from different columns. To record in your jam, simply hit the record button. And once you've laid down some cool grooves, you can tap on the track view to come back into your tracks view and add your other instruments or do whatever you want with your project. You can mix and match between the track view and the live loops view. There you have it, 400 new Apple Loops, three new cool drum kits, and a new live Loops grid to play around with as well. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments below. Stay tuned for even more GarageBand tips, tricks, and tutorials, and I'll see you next time.